Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we are playing Stationeers and in our last video we were uh, starting the Escape Mars scenario in Stationeers this is a, a space game uh, pretty much inspired by Space Engineers uh, but with a lot of uh, micromanagement in it so there are some as I said in the last video, many um, similitudes, but also uh, important differences. So now what we are doing here is we have already um, placed everything that we need here to start production. So we uh, fixed the problem with the power. We had a power problem uh, in this um, base we are sort of uh, crash landed here and um, we found a base and a mine shaft and now we are we are um, we have to build um, a rocket to escape Mars so the the scenario um, is uh, similar to the Martian the film right so now we um, what we need to do is we need to mine some uh, resources some we need iron copper and oops I think uh, no that's so we need to mine some resources for that we need the mining belt there we are so this is the mining tool and we need iron, copper and gold so iron I know that there's some there's some copper here, but I think this this is not containing much copper. I think that's that's all the copper there, and there's some iron here. Now that's something else. Let's go for the iron. Oh, there's uranium there, but I, I, I don't think we will be using that now. I don't know. Well, uh, it has been uh, some time since I last played um, Stationers. I never use uh, uranium, and I don't know if um, because I. I think uh, you couldn't really uh, use it. This was like some um, pending feature to create nuclear reactors. I'm not sure if it's possible currently. Okay, so we have already 12. Well, that's not much. So in order to Because the, this this scenario is time critical because there's limited amount of food, and we have to uh, focus on building a rocket just to escape. So uh, we need to be time efficient, and so that means that we we need to um, mine as much as possible. So we 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 have to try to not have to be doing like these mining excursions because they take time. So uh, we need like to have as less mining excursions as possible. 
and to mine as much as possible so I will gather iron gold and copper and then we can we can build uh, the next thing is that we need to to build uh, the arc furnace because with the arc furnace we can we can um, melt the ore and convert them into ingots so I think that's enough iron let's go for Uh, let's go for copper and gold there's gold in the mine shaft I know this I know um, but copper uh, duct tape I think we found that I um, if you notice that this game is uh, different than the, our last video is because I restarted the scenario because I was uh, focusing on like creating this uh, survival um, like self-sufficient uh, base but it turns out that um, that we cannot grow food or at least I didn't find any um, any seeds that we could grow or any plants that we could grow it's we just have uh, food for the I think just enough food to like uh, make the rocket and leave the planet so I will follow I will be following more the the the, the tutorial these um, hints that they give here because um, I think in the in the last video I was um, doing a bunch of stuff that uh, were not really the aim of the of the of, of this scenario and to get the power back again it took me <laughs> a lot of time but it was uh, i really it, it was fun it's like it's like a puzzle right so we are i don't like this grenade line there it's like a puzzle game like uh, trying to find where the where the power is um, failing where's the break point so now how much gold do we have 26 28 I think that that should be enough I'm saying that um, components don't require lots of gold, but yeah. That's coal, I think. Okay, let's go. I think we need, still we need, um, we need copper. Where was the copper though? I'm trying to remember the other place where we had copper. Mm 
this is no that's not copper that's iron ah here here's some copper so let's mine that To be honest, I have never uh, made a, a rocket in station years. That's weird, right? I, I has just focus on base building and that's it. I don't know really how does it compare to space engineers in that sense, uh, how vehicles work. But I know, of course, it has all this uh, extra level of complexity with uh, like the fuel will be like this hydrogen and uh, oxygen and you need to have these tanks and pipe connections and whatnot, valves, I don't know. Okay, so we have, I think we have enough. We have enough for the, to get started. So we will need to build the arc furnace. And then we will need to build uh, the the other the other machines that will help us. There are different um, like three D. There are like three D printers or um, yeah, factory machines, workstations and uh, okay so i think we need that um, i think we need some uh, iron from somewhere else or no it's i think it has some right let's see then we can just uh, how much does it have ah here it is so the machine already has 28 grams of uh, iron and 19 copper i think well if we get this that's good okay but we will need the air furnace anyways Okay, and we need um, power connections. So let's build the arc furnace. We can build it here. But we need um, we need a power connection, and for that we will have to take down. Or we could do it in the other room as well. Let's see, maybe that would be better. Okay, so we have built the arc furnace with the auto lathe. Like this is the, the basic um, printing machine, right? Like uh, you start with this auto lathe and uh, from there you will build other machines that will let you build other things and in this particular case we need um, an arc furnace I think we can build it here where's the connection okay yeah let's uh, let's build it there I want to get rid also of this. 
same. I did that last time. Okay, so now we need this connection. So, <clears throat> uh, here in, in, in station ears, um, we need to connect everything, right? Like, it's not enough that the, that the machine is part of, uh, of this, uh, framework, like in space engineers, you, you uh, once you build, um, your machines you have to connect them to the to power and usually the machines have um, a power um, port and a data port and the data lets you it's like this um, IO um, interface that lets you uh, program or control the machines with um, programming okay so now um, let's put something in there we need to switch to our mining belt and open the mining belt and get some iron put it in there turn it on and now it's um, smelting the, the the ore to create ingots okay and i think we have not we, we need to fetch stuff as well from okay but i will first i will get rid of all this i don't want to be switching between the belts Let's get rid of all this stuff here. That's it. Okay, so now we have iron. We completed that task. Let's get the the copper and off we go. Let's get something to eat. And let's fit this to the we can fit this to the outer lathe. And next, we need to open the doors or open the. Cannot open the door. I, ha I have to break in. Just um, deconstructing. This is like the emergency power um, room. Yeah. And yes, and as you can see, uh, the idea is that <coughs> this emergency power room um, has this generator, this gas fuel generator. And this generator produces electricity to charge its batteries. So currently we're working with uh, the the power we have here so at some point if we run out of power we we have to we have to either uh, turn this on there's some fuel here 
and but that's it the, the this this um, there there is some pipes here but they are damaged so i understand that uh, this was supposed to be connected to a to some um network where we got uh, some fuel but um also we have to take into account that probably we need fuel for the rocket right so probably the, the if we run out of, out of power the best thing would be to to have a, uh, some solar panels up here so i think i will be doing that um at some point soon okay so now this should be done because let's put that there copper we have copper and now we should um, let's take gold and next we will need uh, to create more machines let's put the copper into the well, let's leave this copper here because probably I will ha I will need it for the other machines, and I think I will get rid of all these um, walls. I mean, uh, we don't need like this uh, closed environment. Because we um, we're not spending that much time here, I think. So that is one thing. Light off. So the the gold is taking takes a uh, some time to to melt i think is 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 the one that takes most time okay i want to keep everything in one place because otherwise it's difficult to find them it's plastic and this is steel sheets okay that's that so in order to have, um, let's see, we can search for things here. The solar, ah, I cannot, I need the electronic printer to create solar panels. So here we, we have all these um, things. Uh, these are, this is the list of the things we can uh, create with this uh, machine. and and then if we uh, and then every every uh, you need to create other machines in order to create more things or different things you see how much it takes a lot of time okay so uh, what is what can we do next
Okay, this is done. Okay, now it tells me that uh, I need the pipe bender and the printer, the electronic printer. These are the next things. So probably we'll need the gold here. So let's create the pipe bender. Yeah, that one. So this UI, um, if you focus here, you will see the contents of the of the machine. Here you can search for a specific um, recipe, and here you activate the production. And these arrows will um, will sort. It's uh, these arrows are navigation to navigate to the next next recipe in the list or the previous one. Okay, so that's that. We have, uh, let's see, we have the, the tablet. With the tablet, you can get information about uh, the environment. So, but depending on what you want to do, you need to install a, a chip or a cartridge, I should say. So, Right now we are interested in the atmospheric cartridge because I want to see what do we have in the in the tanks down there. So let's see. Let's see if the machine is done. Ah yes, it's done. So let's uh, let's stop it because it's making another batch. Uh, we need now the the printer, the electronic printer. Let's do that. And I think uh, all these machines, I will just have them here. There's enough space for this. So that's the hydraulic pipe bender. And this um, this is new in the game that you need like um, to... Once you place the machine, it's not done. Well, um, the arc furnace is like that, but these others are not like that. You need like um, to to build them in um, it's a process to build them so we need what do we need we need uh, it says here a hint I need a, a welding torch and iron sheets uh, I think we had some iron sheets. If not, I will scrap them from the base. So we can save. Um, that's done. Let's stop it. Oh well, it's already. Uh, where do we put this? I guess we can place it here. There we are. So we have all these machines in place. This kind of uncomfortable here, so probably I will put it. I will place it in another. Well, let's see. So let's see where can we find the um, iron sheets.
Iron frame, okay, that's the iron frame. That's one, and that's two. And then it says that I need the welding torch, right? Welding torch and iron, iron frame, iron sheets, right? Next, we need four cable coils. And next, we need a plastic sheets and um, welding. And it's uh, almost done. And then the the screwdriver. We need the screwdriver. So there we are. We have the. Oh, but look at that! Create a pressurized room with them. So, <laughs> I thought I didn't have to make this uh, pressurized environment, but it turns out that we need we need to do it. To grow potatoes, so we are not escaping like the uh, Martian stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, the guy from the Martian was leaving uh, off potatoes. And what we need here, we need electronics. Okay, we need uh, two iron sheets as well. Oh, okay, we need more. And we need to create the enclosed environment. I think then we, we, will, we will have this, this, um, this one closed here, I think. And um, to make a close environment, we need to make um, an airlock. I would do it here. Okay, but this is a challenge now because That's a normal frame. This iron, but it's but there's no um, sheets on that. Uh, that's a normal frame. Where else can we find iron here? It seems that there's no more iron. All this is, um, if it says just frame, it's um, it's steel frame. Let's see if we have something here. No, up there. The thing is that to to to. Um, we need like a, a normal potato, right? To I have not seen potatoes here to um, to grow. Okay, let's see if by chance there is some iron. If not, I will just manufacture some. Yeah, no, there's nothing here. Okay. Let's make that. So we need ah but look. What is this? This this the this is just one of them. I have an iron sheet. But we don't have more. Probably uh, there's something lying around. Okay, but no problem. We can have one iron sheet.
just one dirt chip and then we need the welding torch and cables and the plastic sheets and basically that's it no no we need the screwdriver as well okay screwdriver there we go so now we have all uh, all the machines we need for now to create this um, closed environment so how do we connect here oh, well let's bring a cable here right or oh, wait Oh, I'm running out of power now. Let's put this back. Okay, so we need... Let's do it like this. That's the straight, yes. Let's have a this here and then we will have a three way junction. Ah, we cannot build a it's more it's too close to the to the to this thing okay probably I will just there we go that's one part So I need the handrail. So where do we place it? I think we will place it here. Yes. And then we will have a junction there. No, no like, like that. That's a straight cable. And that's it. Our machines are powered now. So, to one lucky thing is that to for the for the um, airlock we can use these two doors we have already and probably we will need uh, some glass extra glass And probably I will I will extend this room to this place here so that uh, we can get sun like create a little a little um, greenhouse here 
and we can have air in that in that place um, but we need also to uh, make sure that um, we have all the everything is airtight but I really didn't expect to to have the the potato growing well let's we have to find that pot, uh, some potato because upstairs we have um, a baked potato but not really anything to grow so that means that there's something else that we don't we, we have not seen yet here this is baked potato so we cannot we cannot um, grow that right that's the problem and okay so or maybe hmm, there could be something in the there could be something in the ship right we just have to investigate okay but for now what I I was thinking is that we need to um, close all this all this place ah but before that yeah before that let's see if we can have um, the solar panel right so let's turn this on and see if we can have a solar panel solar panel what do we need iron gold and copper so copper um, let's take this copper here I should play some light here and let's take some things from the other machine you can always purge the, the machine uh, pressing the lever and there we go we have some we have the the ingots out but I will need to melt more ore so there we are kit solar panel probably I don't know uh, it should At some point it should tell me that I need to to have this power or not. I don't know. Okay, we have some glass. We will need that. And uh, we will need that for the solar panel as well. Let's put that here. Okay, that's done. Let's put this arc furnace here. I think this is the best place. You could even have a shoot connecting the the centrifuge to the here to the smelter to the arc furnace because then you could um, just melt everything that's coming out from the from the centrifuge 
into ingots. Well, I don't know exactly. I don't remember how these uh, elements are recycled if they come as uh, ore or if they come as ingots. I, I'm, I don't remember right now. Okay, so we can have more iron and more copper as well, so we don't have to to be transferring the, the ingots okay that is done probably I need the... where is it? the glass I don't know, I don't remember how many do we need oh I fell damn it Okay, so let's place it here. Where does it? Right there. We could even just connect it directly. And now it asks for what is pending here to construct? You need a wrench. Ah, no, this is for the orientation. Yeah, now I think we need the. Yes, the. Now. So there we go. Let's see with the wrench what's going on. Okay, so now our panel is not uh, generating anything. Well, that's not good. Why is that generating? Uh, that's down. Ah, there. Vertical. So here we can rotate the, the panel. Tilt. Tilt upwards, tilt downwards. And where is the... Ah, here. So there, I think the sun goes this way, so we need to rotate it uh, 90 degrees. There, now we are producing 200 watts. And yeah, one thing uh, in space, in the station years is that you, you need to depending on uh, how the, the panel is facing, it will produce more or less um, energy. So there, there, are, um, there are some controllers that would, um, with, in combination with a light sensor, uh, you can uh, create a controller that would um, orient the panel automatically to to have like this maximum efficiency of uh, energy production so here we are uh, producing 337 watts currently and it can I think uh, the maximum is like 500 watts or, or something like that but you see here that this is uh, We're running out of power right now, in fact. We're running out of power. And if you want to analyze the network, then you take the, um, the cartridge. You We need to change the... We need to change the, the cartridge of the tablet. We need this uh, network analyzer if we want to see the what is the energy that it's being produced. So you you head up for the for the cable, for example. So it's it's now we have actual 480 watts. 
it says that it requires 480 watts the question is if this is charging currently I don't know if this thing is charging it's well it's um, I know that it's uh, consuming this whatever the, the panel is uh, creating but I think that's be because of the battery the battery is um, taking all of that okay I'm not sure right now how much is being consumed and how much So you see that whenever I tilt it, it will increase. But um, I think we won't be like standing here just <laughs> manipulating that. So the best thing to do, uh, what I do uh, sometimes if I don't want to build this controller is that I will have several panels. We need like um, three panels, w one, uh, two facing, two, um, one facing south, one facing, um, sorry, one facing east, one facing west in a 45 degrees angle and one in the middle um, facing um, upwards. And with this configuration, well, you, you always have uh, energy uh, um, generation through, throughout the day. I don't know if we can do that but this is uh, well at least we are generating s some more power now we uh, there's this uh, we should make some um, what else is needed I don't know um, maybe gold because the other machine, in the other machine we have copper, right? Yes, there's some copper here. Okay. Yeah, we depleted uh, energy from the first battery everything from the first battery so next we will have to um, seal all the, the 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 room there and we will um, have a um, um, pressurized room so for that we will need um, ice we have to, to mine some ice uh, so that uh, that we we can have some um, oxygen and some atmosphere in, in the in the room. Okay, but I um, I will leave then the this for uh, another video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, uh, leave a like and hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler. Signing off.